All right, welcome back to Garbage Day. We're now in hour four. Welcome now to hour four. We're reading some drug trip reports. Psilocybin and LSD, salvia and THC. Maybe a guy on rollerblades injecting drugs through marital aids. Let's find out right now. It's garbage day. Cha cha cha. Hi. Yay. Yay. I like the cha cha part. Yeah. It's how you always have to end a song. With a cha-cha-cha. So, uh, oh, I'm, I'm hosting, aren't I? <laughs> uh, let's just find the document. The document's right here. Uh, I'm hey, put this document into my What's up? And Frank West, and you'll notice on the stream that we've got uh, something happened in the lower right here. Um, oh, my up, I'm up. Hey, yeah, there's you're up. me. Oh. You're up. Let's, uh, let's bring you to the forefront with this amazing technology we have. Boom. I, this is this is let's go for it right now we're gonna start the game okay feel free to move me in the other channel whenever you feel like so i stop having anybody to <laughs> be with and i well, just alone is, we're just gonna look at the title screen for a second here i'm gonna get rid of the uh the text that uh when i put up on the last uh, holy god it's very loud <laughs> I can't. You're gonna have to yell over this. I can't hear you. <laughs> so, what are you looking at now, Frank West? I'm looking at 125 years after the revolutionary technology of an unknown civilization was discovered from Mars. Batology has been the largest company in the world for the past 18 years. Boto Botologi. 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 Okay, I'm gonna move you back to the bottom right. It's, it's a very good story intro. Earth, 20,049 years after the war of Thrones. <laughs> Training base Salazari of the Botology Corporation. Botology, you already decided. Yep. 125 years after the revolutionary technology of an unknown civilization. Botology has been the largest company in the world for the past okay, 18 okay. years. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you the intro is still now. going on, so it's not like. <laughs> this intro might be a while. Okay, so we've it's got uh, we've got drug reports, drug trip reports, uh, a document sub submitted to us uh, by Cheapskate quite a while ago, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, we're uh, we're in our fourth hour of the marathon. We're raising money for the Southern Poverty Law Center, a uh, a legal nonprofit or a uh, legal advocacy. <laughs> advocacy. Illegal no, no, they're illegal advocacy uh, and. Uh, uh, sort of training and educational or organization that fights hatred and bigotry in America. Yeah. They're really good. Yeah. They do fine work. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start into, I guess we're just going to do this straight for the doc. Did I put the, did I give you guys the doc? Oh man. Yeah. So, uh, Hey, Jimmy Franks. Yeah. Uh, or should I say the guy? That's me. Uh, hey, I want I'm you to. Guy. I want you to tell me about an experience you've had. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As an experienced user, uh, I know there. Are, well, uh, should we talk a little bit about uh, the doc that we're doing, or did we already do that? It's uh, drug trip reports. People do drugs okay. and then share their experience. Yeah. Okay. And then fall so, down. And then fall right down. On. <laughs> right on. All right. <laughs> Yeah, this is the guy. As an experienced user, I know there are two things about this drug that are rarely covered. <laughs> Methamphetamine, of course. Uh, one of them is that it opens the door to anger. The other is that it opens the door to pleasure. <laughs> and that is what my post is all about. <laughs> I've used this drug countless times. However, not all the time. More like from time to time. With each use, I believe it has started me on a journey to discover a new level of pleasure. Not 24 hours so much. Mm, yeah, I mean, I you take it and then I'm awake for 72 hours. But I'm not using it at all 72, you know what I mean? Anyway, I, I don't know why it affects everyone differently, but I want to share where it took me one evening slash morning so that someone can see the possibilities of the pleasures it could bring. First, let me make one thing clear. I am a straight male, and in no means is this experience false or some, quote, made-up story, end quote. Everything here is real, and I actually enjoyed every minute. Woo! The day started out perfect. 
After acquiring a good amount of the product, I proceeded to go shopping. <laughs> a little retail therapy, you know what I mean? Uh, after doing a small blast of the stuff, about the size of a nickel, I went to the ladies' lingerie store where a club slash dancer stripper, stripper apparel is sold. <laughs> the store, thankfully, was a bit far from home and in a somewhat secluded location. Already feeling a bit shaky, but completely erratic, <laughs> I started to try on some huge platform high heels. After four or five pair, I decided on a very comfortable but strappy black pair for $45. <laughs> and next, I bought a pair of shiny black PVC panties with a chain hip strap. I also bought a matching belly chain, choker, anklet, and two toe rings. Done there, and thank God, because I wanted to get out of there. But at the same time, the speed increased my awareness of my body and the whole shopping experience. <laughs> the next place I went, I bought industrial strength, clear plastic shower curtain, huge bottle of baby oil, <laughs> shaving cream, and some good razors. So this this goes on for a very long time. I'm just listing Did he try shit, the shower curtain shit that he bought while on meth. <laughs> you don't want to hear my story about shaving in a in a cheap motel. <laughs> Skip down to at that time I broke out the small Ziploc baggie. At that time I broke out the small Ziploc baggie and made myself four huge lines. I used some nearby tissue and blew my nose well. I took a deep breath and sniffed the first two. Must have been good stuff this time because it had a very strong odor, which is a good sign. Oh. Plus, when I, when I inhaled it and felt very sharp and it really burned, I could feel a substance dripping down the back of my throat. Mm, I swigged a bit of water in preparation for my last two. I took a deep breath again and did the third one. At this time, my heart was pounding, so I decided to save the last one for later. <laughs> So I took it and placed it next to the air conditioner, so just in case it could be swept in front of the vent to dissipate into the air. Smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just Smart. Every the, idea is a brilliant one here. <laughs> the lights if, I could, if, I to, if I had to choose one word to describe this entire story. <laughs> The lights were low, and luckily there was free porn in the room, which, to say the least, was making me very horny. <laughs> Took the shower curtain and spread it over a white sheet. Oh, okay. I sat on okay. this completely naked, and I could not believe how this felt. It was as if my skin could feel things that have never been felt before. Of course, shaving had some part in this. I proceeded to dress myself with the jewelry. <laughs> Toe rings looked cute. The anklet's cold steel felt amazing, along with the belly chain of my choker. <sighs> <laughs> um, so was he just like on is he on drugs for the entire story, story? <laughs> I think he was on like drugs and wrote this yeah how long did the trip last just like, <laughs> three days later I drove to a different story yeah let's get some stuff out of context <laughs> skip down to near the bottom of the story and go to I grabbed yeah. the bottle yeah Oh, uh, damn, it looks so, so sexy in those heels. I turned over, looked at my wet, wet shiny body. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I grabbed the bottle and poured it over my penis. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> I grabbed the bottle and poured it over my penis. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. what did you do okay. with the bottle? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I can do this. I think it's baby oil we're talking about. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. it is. It okay. is. Oh, I thought it was a bottle of methamphetamines. I don't know why it's so funny to me. <laughs> okay. Mm. okay. I grabbed the bottle oh, and poured wow. it over. I can do this. I can read anything. Mm. Lies. Oh wait, let's, let's, let's okay. sorry, hold on, no, hold no, on, no, no, hold on. Do this. Just, no, 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 because I just I just want to point out that uh, that Jimmy Franks has offered up a a, a special you know uh, oh, yeah. donation prize uh, to the first person. <laughs> yeah. The first person who donates uh, five hundred dollars uh, once I click the button on this thing. Yeah. Uh, if we receive a donation of five hundred dollars, they will get an exclusive password to a Dropbox containing pictures of Jimmy Franks' cat wearing a cowboy outfit. Yeah, and the reason why I know that that's, that seems like a pretty steep price tag, but you don't understand how much my cat hates wearing that outfit. So hold on, let me so, set, let me set that. Up okay, that cat's me. dignity is worth five hundred dollars. Yeah, and now back to drug trip reports. I grabbed the bottle and poured it over my penis. I've just topped the first feeling. Just as good, but in a different way. My fingers were shaky. My penis was small because of the meth. Whew, but I swear I felt every microscopic inch of it as, as if I was receiving 1,000 blowjobs at once. 
Woo. Whoa. Oh, wow. these, yeah, it's a lot of blowjobs. From job. like a like a hydra prostitute or like they're overlapping each other? A thousand uh, tiny prostitutes. <laughs> The That's my memoir. The, the, the <laughs> bastard memoir. son of a thousand tiny prostitutes. <laughs> All of these feelings are because of the meth. Needless to say, before I write a novel, I forced myself to masturbate to an orgasm. It took me about four hours of long concentration and lots of porn and saliva, not salvia, to get hard. And when I felt it building, it was unlike anything I have ever felt. Hot almost. And when I came, I swear to this day, it shot for me so hard. I really believe I almost fainted with pleasure. It was the pleasure, not the math. Because the semen shot at least three feet in the air. Some you guys my... remember those old Super Soaker commercials? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some landed on my chest and legs, the rest on the plastic, which was a mess to say the least. Mm. I will never regret that evening slash morning ever. In fact, if I ever get the chance, I will do it all again. Am I gay, a cross-dresser? No, but these forbidden acts and clothing only heighten my whole experience. Forbidden? Now, if... Forbidden? <laughs> forbidden by whom? <laughs> Those tiny prostitutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, if I could only find some one guy slash girl to dress up and do it with me, that would be unforgettable. That's what you are. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. sorry <laughs> the end of the story <laughs> really good so so yeah we've you know that was that was meth that's a fucking boring drug come quiet oh you're, yes you're, hello you're gonna take the next one in here this is a this is a real fucking drug that's gonna get you real fucking high and it's gonna be awesome right <laughs> i'm very excited to tell you about this yeah euphoric and organized an experience with animals Paper wasp venom. <laughs> so, the I mean, other day, <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> the other day, I was out picking pears, picking a <laughs> peck of pickled pears to make hard cider. <laughs> Go on. When all of a sudden, I felt a sharp sting on the back of my calf, and I had a new fetish! Hooray! Yes. I looked at the back of my leg only to find that a paper wasp had stung me four times. Which, with, within about five men, I felt a slight euphoria that persisted for 15 to 20 men. Afterwards, I began to notice that I wasn't having any symptoms of my ADD. What I mean by this is, instead of just randomly knocking off pears from the tree, I divided the tree up into sections, and in an orderly manner cleared each section, and picked up the pears in an orderly fashion. Now, a simple task like this may seem easy for some, but for those who have ADD, organizing a task like this can be daunting. I also noticed an increase in my working memory. Normally, I can only hold a thought for no more than five seconds. However, after being stung, my working memory jumped to two, three minutes. I also had this immense sexual arousal. Ah, uh, see, you were right. <laughs> At the sight of a female body. That, it, the, the female body was in the pear tree. Um, <laughs> Similar to when I had tried Wellbutrin. In addition, I felt speedy, similar to amphetamines, and happy all day. If given the chance, I would definitely try this again. It seems to have great potential as a sexual recreational bug drug. <laughs> it should be noted that I do not take any medications for ADD. I mean... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is what wasp venom does. They'll like sting, eat, they'll sting the victim, and then the bug is so concentrated on the homework they were doing that the wasp can then take it back to the nest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, drugs, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, I por about it. Portex. I know, eh? I know you're really into uh, like some serious drugs. I'm in all the drugs. Yeah, and also your name is G Love. My name is G Love. Yeah, and the love. I 
I glove, glove. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> See if I can find this. My own writing. Is it G dash love? D G oh. space love. Oh, G space love. Ah, there we go. Yeah, my name is Galove. Uh, and I've been rendered inactive and experienced with caffeine. Good. Coffee. Oh. Uh, let me start off by saying I am no stranger to states of body and or mind. Not only this, but I've drank my fair share of coffee in my 22 years, <laughs> uh, many times a day for a while in college. Uh, now we're to the experience in uh, question. Uh, now in in grad school, I had a midterm to prepare for, so I spent much of the days leading up to it studying like any good student would do, uh, feeling positive about how I would do, and I decided that the night before the test, I would just go out with some friends and have a few drinks. <laughs> I didn't, I don't drink much, but uh, I did stay out late enough to sleep and would be severely diminished. Uh, so uh, I got four hours of sleep before my midterm. Uh, no good, but things happen. So I woke and ground some healthy, uh, how do you pronounce that, Arabica? <laughs> We're going to go with Arabica. Uh, Arabica? Yeah, Arab Arabica. Arabica. Yeah. Healthy Arabica beans. And set them to their job, soaking in boiling water and leaving wonderful concoction when the liquid is filtered. Uh, I, I took down the two cups of darker than dark coffee along with about four cups of water just to keep my system from overloading. Uh, after all, coffee is a diuretic and I can't have that while I'm still trying to stay somewhat healthy. Uh, I hopped onto my bike and rode to class and then took a restroom break and then sat at my desk. Midterms were handed out and everyone had added. About 10 minutes into it, I started having to urinate again. Man, and only got what a fucking mm -hmm. wild experience this is, guys. Oh, <laughs> this troper once Riveting. had a coffee. About 10 minutes into it, I started having to urinate again. It only got worse by the minute until I thought I was going to explode. I would have taken a break, but I needed all the time allotted. I finished five minutes early, turned on my midterm, and grabbed my stuff and headed for the bathroom. Here's the fun. Oh, ooh, mm. Yeah, that was preamble okay, to the fun. Yeah. This is the wow. fun. Wow, wow. About 10 feet from the door, my now completely jittering body had a severe moment of dysfunction, and the catching of my toe on my other leg sent me sprawling, a virtual yard sale. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, a yard sale! Wow, a yard sale! Wow, a He's yard sale! He's just spinning end over end saying that while the background loops. <laughs> Actually, I'd say in the hallway. As soon as I hit the floor, the shock of pressure on my bladder was enough that it just went, and I pissed all over myself. This took well, this only took a few seconds, but in front of the puddle, I shot up. Well, like a bottle rocket, I shot up, grabbed my stuff, and made a mad dash for the bathroom. Uh, I tell the story because people assume things like coffee is okay, but LSD isn't. Uh, I only drank two cups of this stuff, and these were the results. While I've taken a moderate doses of LSD many a time and never once had such a horrible physical result, be aware the body is just as important <laughs> as the mind. Peace! I drank two cups of coffee and four cups of water, and then I had to pee. Oh, my God. LSD is way Worse better. than LSD. <laughs> Worse than LSD. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I got to tell you about an experience with some, some, some drugs. You know, the way that people take <laughs> recreational drugs. Uh, <laughs> my name's P for P. Oh no! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what do you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, th what I have to say is perfect. Sorry, P fact equals purgative equals perfect again. An oh. experience with toad venom and nitrous oxide. <laughs> this is the one time that you say poisonous instead of venomous and I couldn't do it <laughs> yeah, <I know. clears throat> as a naturally curious consciousness floating around this dust pebble that we call home or at least home for now I have managed to gain access to many different chemicals with which to expand my knowledge of consciousness DMT However, uh, had remained the most elusive of my pursuits until a few months ago. I had a friend who recently regaled me with descriptions of his experiences, but unfortunately he had no supply left to give me a first-hand glimpse. His words to me that night seemed a little prophetic. However, as he said, I found that this is an experience that finds you. How true are those words? 
were. Uh-oh. They don't mean anything. <laughs> and my drug of choice was Amway. <laughs> Hey, Jim and Frank, I noticed nobody's biting on the $500 for a uh, password to the Dropbox containing pictures of your cat in a cowboy outfit. Okay, all right. <laughs> Just, okay. We may want to consider, like, uh, no, you know, it's fine. It, I'm sure it's. There's an eccentric billionaire somewhere out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 like we can't show it's, you we can't show you a preview picture because that would r- ruin the whole point of this thing. <laughs> well, I can post if you go to Instagram.com slash Gary Gumdrops. <laughs> You'll get a sample. I'm gonna put that in chat. Instagram.com slash Gary if you... Gumdrop. What the fuck, Jimmy? You'll just get a little taste. You just get a little taste. You can uh you know you can just uh you you can actually we can put we can post the image on the stream if you look at go into setup under free write, put under image. Trav right. could but draw anyway. like an artist like conception, like an artist. <laughs> rendering of what conceivably it might look like i'll put it up on the stream once i'm done my well, very important frog venom reading <laughs> sorry it's poison <laughs> sorry. sorry toad <laughs> a friend and i had driven out to the desert to attend an event put on by another mutual friend a couple months later we danced and partied until around 3 a.m when we both had to be back in town for work the next day driving home i noticed something hopping down the road at my vehicle <laughs> Both of us being amateur science enthusiasts. Not enough to know the difference between venomous and poisonous. <laughs> this is also a gripe of mine. <clears throat> Boots, not P for P. Not, not P for P. Yeah. We got out to take a look. Imagine my pleasant surprise when I looked down and found I was staring at the face of a bufo al- alivarius. Alvarius toad. One of the many toads prevalent in the desert areas around town. I knew something was special about this little friend, the way it was grinning up at me as though tempting me to reach down and taste the fruits of existence. Unfortunately, I was in a hurry and unable to take the toad up on its offer, but at least I know where this animal friend habits. Desert toads have this unfortunate (laughs) cry where they scream out, Lick me! (laughs) Um... Let's just uh, skip down to a couple of weeks later, I was sitting at home packing up for Burning Man, uh, yeah. oh. and I decided to try it out. I did this without a babysitter, something I don't really recommend, and now wish I hadn't tried the first time, but oh well. At home alone, during the middle of the day, I had been feeling pretty down lately about the lots of personal matters, love, money, the usual human stuff, and decided that I needed the jumpstart out of my funk. Since I had the Venom available, I decided to give it a whirl. I had ordered to scale off eBay so I could measure milligrams, but decided to just eyeball it the first time around. Something Mm. else I don't recommend, as too much can be really bad (laughs) on account of it being fucking poison. (laughs) Too much poison is bad. (laughs) You're writing this down. Uh, I loaded up about a match head size into my pipe applied a jet flame and as soon as the pipe smoked up i inhaled the entire hit i held it in while continuing to flame what was left in the pipe and in a few seconds the pipe was full of smoke again which i then inhaled on top of the first hit one more pipe full of smoke later and i inhaled the third hit and gently set the pipe and lighter down on my bedside table laid back on the bed and waited for eternity to come to me It didn't take more than 15 seconds or so. I didn't hear much buzzing, but it felt it coursing through me almost instantly. Pretty soon, keeping my eyes open became overwhelming as patterns of light began crawling all over the walls and the solid objects I knew were there, but couldn't quite notice anymore. I closed my eyes and saw a massive undulating pattern of light. I felt the cracks between the different plates of light get brighter and brighter, almost to the point where I couldn't stand to focus on them anymore. Suddenly, everything broke into light, and I felt an overwhelming sense of one word. Perfect. Stupid. Oh. <laughs> You're not That's wrong. Saying, I guess. I'm sorry. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, let's just go with the next paragraph. About 20 seconds later, the word perfect ringing throughout my mind, the word morphed into purgative, and I started to feel a wave of nausea. Weird, eh? That weird. Yeah. I quickly made my way to the bathroom across the hall and stripped down to my bare skin, hovered over the toilet, and waited for the massive puking session that never came. 
After what felt like forever, but was probably less than two minutes, I noticed I was breathing in slow, deep breaths, as I had been doing ever since the overwhelming feeling a few minutes earlier. I realized I wasn't going to purge the, just this minute, so I stood back up. Okay. Uh, I'm looking... So... so <laughs> and then nothing else interesting happened to him. Within 20... <laughs> Uh, I'm looking forward to experience Mr. Toad's wild ride yet again in the near future. Maybe even on the playa. I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, the playa. It's a, it's the desert where Burning Man takes place. Oh, the playa. Okay. Uh, though it is definitely not something to be taken lightly for the consciousness that is trying to challenge itself with a learning experience, I can highly recommend it. My friend was right. If you truly seek the experience, it most likely will find you. By hopping in front of your car and then you going, oh, I want to lick that. And his drug of choice was Amway. <laughs> the frog was selling Amway the whole time. <laughs> um, so, so this is this is a really fun duck because the next one up here, which we're not going to read, is uh, Witches Brew and Experience with Belladonna, which seems like a very bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> the porn star and the drug. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Jimmy Franks. Yeah. Your name is Chaos Slave. It sure is. Um, I'll, <laughs> Yay. Do you have this one? Do you have it up? <laughs> okay. Calamus and Buck Sex. Oh, my. An experience <laughs> with Calamus. <laughs> After reading online about Calamus, I read about its pain removing properties. After having a toothache one day, I decided to chew a small piece of root. This stuff is foul tasting. Foul as in bird. F A O W L. Just like chicken. It tasted like a duck confit. Uh, this stuff is foul tasting, and after chewing on it for a while, it had a strong pepper taste that makes my mouth feel really hot. To my surprise, the pain was completely gone, but I could still feel that spot it once hurt, so it's nothing like Novocaine. Whew. After attempting anal sex with my GF one night and hearing her scream loudly, a light bulb flickered above my head. I told her of my idea to apply some calamus next time before trying, and she said it was worth a try. So, after a few days later, I powder some root and mix it up with a little lubrication and stick it in her butt. Of course. Why? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She complains about it burning a minute later. <laughs> Not surprised, considering it tastes like pepper. Mm. And goes to rinse it out. Afterwards, we attempt anal sex, and to her surprise, it barely hurt at all and still felt just as good. We've used it for the same purpose. Pup rose. We've used it for the same pup rose plenty of times since. She also gets the good effects of stimulation slash relaxation, just like chewing the root. So the moral of the story, Calamus removes pain at the area you apply it and is good for anal sex if you have a big penis. But you could find many more uses, such as cuts and burns, has antibacterial properties as well. Have fun. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll all have fun. Um, <laughs> Obviously. I think, it's, I think it's time to check in on Frank West. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pop into his uh, sound channel just to let him know. <laughs> Hey, Frank West, we're joining the other channel. What's, anyway, uh, that might work. Have you heard the good Who news knows? about Calamus? <laughs> Calamus isn't going to heal this pain, unfortunately. <laughs> Calamus, now available from Amway. Amway. <laughs> now available in the body. Hey, Frank West. Hey. How's, uh, how's your game coming? It's really good. Oh, yeah? Um, I like it a lot. So far, it's uh, you buy things from a store, and then you use them in your inventory. Mm. Um, and then you get to play a game where your gun shoots like several feet to the left of where your crosshair is. <laughs> and your sprint meter uh, makes you shuffle quickly and it takes about two minutes to fully recharge. Um, I have beat one level. Ooh. Oh, is, is, that, is that what the big number two I'm seeing there is? You're in, you're in level two? Probably. Okay. Oh, yeah. And like you can't unpause properly. It just makes the HUD disappear. Did I die? Where am I? <laughs> okay, I apparently died while I had to alt tab. You, you're gonna have to move me in and out. I can't do it. It looks like okay, you're at the Botology Student Union building. Are you playing as bad box art Mega Man in this game? I mean, like, he's got a very shiny butt. He's got a great ass. Like, I will say, this game gets a 10 out of 10 on the ass. <laughs> on the on the list of Japanese pure <laughs> ass men. Oh, that's like, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah, that is a it's hell like of a, an ass. Like a it's striated. A really striated corned beef ass <laughs> that's what uh i almost got named that by my parents actually i will say that i was apparently transformed into a robot Ooh. so like 
Yeah. Oh, a little, little crossover there. Like, was it, you're gonna, did you're gonna Botologist do that to you? I mean... Um, I mean, like, it was intentional. Like, I chose to do it. Oh, you're going to get to see some combat in a second. Ooh. Those are some oh. lovely botology lumps. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like bootology. Like, it's yeah. this quest oh. for the perfect robo-ass. <laughs> oh, bootyology. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well... Uh... After the robot-ass wars of 2049... <laughs> Well, Frank West, oh. I'm, I'm sending you back into the corner of the, uh, the 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 thing, and I'm putting you in the other. Good. I didn't know I could move you from channel to channel. That's that's cool. He's gone now. Banish him back to the Phantom Zone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, back to drugs. Stuck, stuck him in one of those those mirror uh, uh, record covers that uh, tumble through space. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Superman two. Two. Yes. <laughs> Um, all right, so you know we've we've been getting into some serious drugs. Uh, Hippotax. Yeah. Your name is Fluxatorium. <laughs> don't you know it? <laughs> and don't I know it? As soon as I find there it is. <laughs> what what uh <laughs> what narcotic what? substance have you been getting into? <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> the most wild of the devil's brew. Oh God. <laughs> Still the cheese trip. <laughs> An experience of cheese. <laughs> I read the article about the psychological experiment involving people eating types of cheese and having crazy dreams a while ago. And then this last time I was at the store and I saw a small slice of Stilton cheese. So I had to try it out. It was the Stilton with the blue veins running through it. I'm no Ugh. cheese expert. That's about the extent of my knowledge. I ate all of the cheese pretty quickly with some crackers. Uh, so you cut the stuff about 20 minutes before going to sleep. It was way too intense to eat without the crackers, and it was very rich. This is what my dreams entailed, as far as I can remember. At first, it was an adventure in an unknown world. I had a knapsack. With a blanket and food and, and stuff. Food and stuff. stuff. Food that's, and the, stuff. that's the name of the grocery store I got the cheese from. <laughs> the one with the dented cans, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just able and I was able to just wander around. The world was vast and I could travel in any distance without getting tired. There were mountains and random bits of human settlement, but it was as if humans had died off thousands of years in the past. So only small <laughs> bits of our civilization were left mostly consumed by nature. It was extremely happy and fun. The vividness of the green grass and the sunlight, and I could smell all the flowers, and when I came to the ocean, I could distinctly smell that too. Everything was just beautiful. I settled down for the night on an old truck on a dilapidated highway above a vast grassy meadow near the ocean. Night came, and I could feel the temperature drop into a summer night feeling. <laughs> summer night, Summer night feeling. After laying down and staring at the stars for a while, I was extremely content at the peace for what seemed like hours. Daytime came, and a group of people wandered, wandered through the trees to me. They were friends of mine, a few whom I recognized. We all followed the ocean up to a playground. <laughs> okay, cool, dude. We all sat down and started playing in the Everyone was talking and having a good time, till a tree nearby exploded. Oh, I see. So he's like cheese and then explosions so we got like a randomness thing oh wow yeah, mm. yeah. Are, are ninjas gonna show up yeah i think there's gonna be like <laughs> purple weasel monkey oh yeah tap Ooh, dancing and, and and bacon Ooh, yeah. and bacon yeah don't forget bacon wow we, <laughs> <laughs> we all were instantly on edge it felt like a battle had started we looked to the ocean and a pirate ship ah oh, see there you ah! go <laughs> Fuck. i was fired <laughs> It was firing its cannons at us. It was kind of funny, though. And then rain clouds came at a ridiculous rate and started dumping rain, and lightning started to strike with insanely loud thunder. Uh, For a dream, it so was pretty it's, incredible. Uh, skip forward to, at this point, it started turning bad. Ah, uh, at this point, it started turning bad. <laughs> I wasn't happy. I was scared. I was the leader, so I was just handcuffed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, was just I like handcuffed. things out of context. <laughs> I'm being dragged around, but everyone else who had helped me defend, fortunately none of whom I recognize this time, were all chained to the walls of the bunker being tortured. And then the invasion leader came up to me, and it was actually an old friend of mine that has gotten distant lately. We've grown apart ever since the, the torture. He looked 
terrifying, and he had a sword to my throat, and then he laughed and proceeded to ask me if slash how I wanted my whole crew to be killed. He then showed me how he was going to kill them, but stabbing himself in the chest without flinching and making him through his body as if it were butter. It's fucked up. Oh, the blood oh, was oh, dripping down his know, chest. Cheese, butter, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, so we got like yeah. a dairy, yeah, yeah. the cheese is yeah. taking over his brain. Right. The blood was dripping down his chest, and he was just smiling. The moment he pulled his sword out, all of his wounds instantly healed, but then he stabbed me and started doing the same thing. The pain was strange. It didn't hurt, but I knew it should. I couldn't escape, and I thought this was reality, and I was going to die. I watched as my body and then arms were flayed open. That was the key feature. I realized that there was no way I could possibly be conscious and see these things happen to my body. I realized I was dreaming and woke up immediately. After a few minutes of warily staring around the room and breathing, I, I sat up and I saw I had only been asleep for two hours. Although I felt like I had been one, wandering, wondering, God, this doofus, I've been wondering this world for days and days. Yes, you were not actually asleep for, for several days after eating cheese. <laughs> the dream time versus real time was the most drastic difference I've ever experienced from sleeping slash dreaming in my life. I'm... Filled with the post-trip feeling of mental tiredness. <laughs> Fucking cheese. I'm writing this about 20 minutes after waking up. Not for my own benefit to remember all of it, but I'll submit it here purely for a lack of anything related to it. <laughs> Great. That's a perfect reason no to do else, things. <laughs> no one else has cheese trips. <laughs> the people, I have to warn them. <laughs> Overall, now that I'm calmed down, the experience was amazing. The vividness of the dream was extended to all my senses in a way I've never experienced before. When I was one, when I was wandering around, I was really, really happy. And I think the whole battle wasn't half as frightening as the content and peace that I felt that first night. When it comes to a magnitude of emotion, seeing my friend cut himself with a sword was the only, only the really freaky part. Now that I'm off to bed and see if the cheese will affect me after being after an hour of being awake. Fucking cool, dude. <laughs> yep. Hey, a lot of cheese that a weird dream. What, what was that you were doing, Belladonna? Fuck that shit. Um, yeah, so I, I come quiet. Oh, hello. Yeah, your your name is now Corey C. Corey. I am Corey. C O R Corey Corey. 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 Oh, obviously, Hare Krishna Stomp Wagon, an experience with ketamine, heroin, and cannabis. There we go. Blow drugs. Oh, yeah, it's drugs. <laughs> Thankfully. Yep. God damn it. I <laughs> get you ketamine drugs. and heroin together for three days straight. I was doing heroin on a daily basis and have been doing so for about 10 days. I scored some ketamine from a friend of mine who was excited because I hadn't done it in four years. My first experience that had been unforgettable. I had experienced a sense that all time is now that I had never come close to any other way. There was no past, no future, just that moment. My friend who I met when he just started talking to me randomly on the subway one night after I smoked crack in Harlem called me and invited uh... me over to his friend's house. I'd been in my room doing heroin alone for a few days, so I was excited to just get out i get to his house and we do some dope together i'm doing lines but he's just doing bumps the last time i'd seen him i'd only done heroin twice and a month or so later i was doing it every day he breaks out some oh, hey, mutual. and we do some lines of that and suddenly i'm in a completely different reality if i'd been in a club i would have lost it completely i had no recollection of even doing that k but it must have been otherwise i wouldn't be so messed up he had to go to meet someone else to get something else i love that yeah, it was really uh, detailed there. <laughs> he um, had to do a thing. Yeah. So I stayed at his friend's house by myself. His friend was out of town. I love to dance, but I usually can't dance on heroin. With the addition of K, though, I danced to the trance radio station for a few hours in my pants. He came home around 6 a.m. and we smoked some weed and hung out and watched TV. I usually loathe TV, but in this state of mind, I found it hilarious that anyone could derive any meaning or pleasure from watching it. Everything on TV so, seemed so base and unintelligent and unenlightened. Usually that scares me and disgusts me. I hate thinking about how the majority of Americans waste their time being brainwashed by that meaningless dribble and having their insecurities fed by advertisements yet support the war on terror and the war on drugs oh. in this state. I was able to watch TV and find it really funny. Not funny as I was engaged in the storyline of the show and was laughing along with the laugh track, but funny and I can't believe people watch this way. I had fun had fun watching TV in six or seven years, so we sat around and made fun of the TV for a while. Then I had anal sex for the first time. And then I got really <laughs> with heroin the TV? And, puke, and puke face down, which happens to me sometimes. <laughs> 
Some like sister friendly neighborhood DJ here watching TV and up trucking. And, and he thinks that I have to go back to my apartment because this is really unacceptable behavior. We take the train back to my apartment and the walk there is really great. The sun is so bright and I just keep thinking about how much dope I have in my purse and how high we are and how everybody else is going to work what? at school and he's making their lives. He gets to my house and I give him money for some more K and some MDMA and then he leaves. I call some friends of mine to see if they want to buy some of the MDMA, not off and wake up and do more dope and tiny line of K and I dance around my apartment for a while and then not off again. At this point, I really love my life. Even though I have to move out of my apartment because my roommate said that if they ever caught me chewing up heroin in the house, they'd kick me out and I can't sit around waiting for that moment to happen. Luckily, I have a plane ticket to visit my parents in a few days that will give me some time to recuperate from all the partying I've been doing and make a new plan. I'm anticipating walking into my mother's trailer all fucked up and uh, totally pissing her off and causing a huge scene. I can't wait to set foot in my little Midwest hometown looking all freaky and out. Come quiet, come quiet, come quiet, come quiet, come quiet, stop, stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> breaking what? news. Uh, what? Just in. Breaking news. What? Well, what? well, it didn't exactly trigger the event. It's it's been hit. Uh, what? Gideon, what? Gideon Fox has Gideon Fox has donated four hundred and twenty dollars, sixty nine dollars, and eleven dollars, totaling totaling five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and is now the proud owner of a pass the password. Well, we'll very shortly be the proud owner of a password to a Dropbox containing pictures of Jimmy Frank's cat wearing a cowboy outfit. Yeah, wow. guys, we did it! Wow. Yeah. And you know what? You know what? You know what? I am even going to uh, because I I have yet to stage the photo shoot. Uh, I am going to uh, also as oh, no. like a stretch. Did he buy? Did he buy cat picture futures? Uh, I'm gonna maybe throw in as a stretch goal uh, a behind the scenes video of the photo shoot of wow. the cat pictures. Will there be bloopers? Maybe are you there can, could be. Are some you gonna leave notes. your microphone on when you go back there to? Because <laughs> I feel the cat's gonna have a few things to say that we can hear. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, Gideon. That's awesome. That is wonderful. That was amazing. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. I really fucking did not expect that to happen. My, and my and my cat fucking hates you. Uh, so there's. <laughs> Meow, I'm very upset with you. <laughs> it's me, Gary. Meow. Oh my god. <laughs> god, I mean, for 500 bucks, I feel like I should like print out some glossy 8x10s. Yeah, yeah, yeah you should. Yeah, what do you yeah, mean yeah, you yeah. feel like maybe you should? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, man, that's, but that's hard. I guess. I guess, fine, I'll throw them in. <laughs> should do them and make Gary sign it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. All right. <laughs> Well, there's more at that level, so uh, don't don't not donate anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep yeah. going. Yeah. There's yeah. many more stupid things. There's many more passwords to that Dropbox. <laughs> uh, come quiet. You may proceed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I'm sorry. What, you were talking what, about your... Where 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 was I? Uh, I don't fuck. know. <laughs> Just pick a <laughs> random fucking skip, paragraph. Skip yeah. down like four yeah. paragraphs. This goes on for a very yeah. long time. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, about 24 hours later, um, my friend who doesn't do hair. <laughs> the notable feature of my friend is that my friend who doesn't do heroin comes up. <laughs> He's into cocaine, but not heroin, which I find nonsensical. This kid, Dottie, and I have been tripping on hallucinogenics and smoking weed together on and off for years. So we know each other pretty well and are used to each other in drug states. Those are, you know, the states that do the drugs. He gave me my nickname, and I consider him my brother. We used to sell weed together, but time had changed our relationship. The first time I did ketamine was with him. He has more experience with it than I do. I tell him that I have some, and he gets really excited. We're all nervous about the experience. It's cute. We have a really long conversation about what room to do it in and what we want to listen to. We debate the merits of the bedroom versus the living room and decide on the bedroom. I'm against that because I've been secretly doing dope in there. <laughs> really secret. It was a huge secret, guys. <laughs> and I, thought out, be, I, I thought it'd be too weird to hang out there with him. But actually, it was fine. We saw Psychic TV together, so we put on one of their albums. Even though we'd already been listening to it a few times, that would make it easier to compare the change of state. We lay in his bed in the big room that we share and do the ketamine together. We don't do it all at once. We start off with two big lines and leave a little to get ourselves down with. I don't get uh -huh. as Okay, okay. Skip, skip down. Come quiet. Come quiet. Come quiet. Come quiet. I don't want to get stuck in Come quiet. candy universe. Come quiet. There is no universe. Come quiet. All the what? 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 Skip down a full page oh <laughs> to, oh my god oh, Jesus. Yeah, to i read that lsd oh my god if you never stopped him he would have done in like an hour <laughs> what? What? oh my god uh, 
Sorry, we should also pay some attention to Trav's art because this is amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> kumquat to the umbop. Umbop kumquat. Kumquat the kumquat quat quat. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I read? I read that LSD, shrooms, foxy, and DMT are like birth. And that ketamine is the death side of the cosmic chaos equation. And somehow that makes complete sense. Yeah. And I paid rent on the apartment so that he could continue to live there without heroin using me and went to my mom's house a thousand miles away to recuperate. Someone called her and told her that I got messed up with heroin. So she put me in the psychiatric unit to set an example for my little brother who I did cocaine with a few days before him and his friends procured it. But I checked myself out against medical advice, which was fun. Fortunately, I have enough money to save up to back go to New York City and rent an apartment by myself, which is what will make me really happy anyways. So the hell heavy drug users discriminating against the dope heads isn't that big of a deal. Yeah. Uh, for all of you who, out there who drink alcohol, smoke weed, do cocaine, and trip on psychedelics and take MDMA, please remember that the heroin people aren't all that different than you. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's they're that's just enough. open-minded no, about stop. this one thing that no. you're done. open-minded about. <laughs> Come <And> on. What? <laughs> you're done. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Fine. We'll read what you want to read, but... <laughs> I made a shirt that says Hare Krishna on it with a big H for heroin and oh a big K for ketamine God. because both are special. <laughs> okay. Line them up. Watch them go. I'm going yep. to I'm gonna wrap this up by being a Lysergica Dedict. Mm -hmm. Lysergica Dedict. And I'm going <laughs> to Okay. Air freshener cured my pink eye and experience with inhalants. Glade. <laughs> Registered trademark. <laughs> this sounds odd, but it seriously did happen. Sorry, but seriously did happen. So I was at my house and a friend of mine and I both had pink eye. Later on that night, we were having some people over. They were doing whatever inside when we decided to go out back and huff some Glade. I had done it. <laughs> Drugs on a budget. Kind of improvise. <laughs> I had done it a couple times prior in the months before. Thought not with pink eye. So we huffed the Glade, registered trademark, got high, went inside, and to our surprise, within 20 minutes, we both noticed that our eyes were totally better. No pus, no redness, nothing. This was like the second day into having it, too. Nonetheless, it was strange. I proceeded to email the Glade Registered Trademark Company and tell them about it, only to receive a reply suggesting I seek rehabilitation. Also giving me a contact number for doctors. Uh, and that's the end of the document. Let's, uh... Hey, Frank West. Yes. How's the game coming? Really bad. You have to craft keys to craft keys to craft keys to... Like, what if Doom was just doors? <laughs> Wasn't Doom kind of just doors? But, like, that was the point. <laughs> like, what if instead of Doom being about combat where the doors were an excuse, it was a game where the doors were the focus and the combat was an excuse? It very also, Dino Crisis. It also seems very, like, you move real slow. It, well, I mean... What if, like, what if Doom was bad. at one-third speed? I mean, you would move slowly, too, if you had to carry that butt around. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta show it off. It like, be this is my this is my walking speed, and this is my sprinting speed, and there's not like they're not good. <laughs> this is an opening. Why aren't you opening? I did the thing you wanted. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. There's another button. You have to craft two keys to open this door. Oh, see, uh, this kind of crazy. <laughs> so awful. so while Frank West is uh, is struggling with doors and keys, uh, what did we learn this hour? It's been an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, well, Frank learned it's only been an hour. Are you I still on level two? But I do have a hankering for a hunka. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> I learned that it's impossible to stop kumquats up once you start. You yeah. learned that? Yeah, no, we yeah. already knew that. It's a force of nature. You know what I learned? What's that? We reached another hundred dollars. <laughs> wow! Dang. Wow! Wow! Um, yeah, people have some very strange ideas of what drugs are and how to report them. <laughs> yeah. What a triumphant hour. Uh, Sherman Tank uh, <laughs> donated $23.10 to say, Kumquat can't sop. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, hmm. uh, we've got a little bit of time. I do want to thank uh, some some donors. Yeah. I just kind of run through the list here of some folks. Uh, uh, Bear Strong, Down 10, uh, TM Hector, Lima Bean, Samurai Hitman, Promiscus, Crichton, Mega Weapon, Trillian Cat, uh, Facial Impediment, Pablo Naruto, Gex Slam, uh, Kur- Kur- Krillimal. That's, that's, uh, that's Pablo Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo Naruto. Uh, Good. Uh, Znarves, Sean Face, Shake Fu, Fish Sticks, uh, Dixon Buttes, Chief Beef, of course, Gideon Fox. Uh, and- Gideon Fox, in, in addition to getting the. Uh- the the password to the Dropbox containing pictures of Jimmy Frank's cat wearing a cowboy outfit. Uh, we'll also be getting a brand new fetish. Yeah, uh, Gideon oh, Fox does. Uh, Gideon Fox does say in a weird coincidence, my mom turned sixty nine years old last week. That's in accompanying his uh, his uh, his sixty nine dollar <laughs> donation and the four hundred twenty dollar donation. Uh, I regretted not being able to donate four hundred twenty dollars last year, but now I can. Thanks for the great podcast, guys. Give me the cat pictures. <laughs> so thank you all. And and Sherman Tank XE for donation as well. Everybody, uh, uh, everybody donated. That's cool. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna go on break just a little bit early this time. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, we're gonna have to say uh, farewell to Trav. Trav, you've been uh, you've been amazing. Yay, Trav! As, as always, uh, we're gonna bring in Lady Frenzy on the art, and uh, uh, joining us will be John Toast. Yay, Toast! To look at uh, I Universe, which is a vanity press. <laughs> had good experience with those in the past so yep yep some real real top yeah. shelf fiction oh uh, yeah so i recommend those of you who are in this for the long haul uh get up move your legs drink some water go pee and we'll be back in about eight minutes goodbye